Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AED vlog. This is vlog number 73. And this week I wanna to talk to you about incorporating new treatments inside of our clinic at Applied Hearing Solutions. So um, over the course of my time in audiology, there was a period of time where I got to work pretty closely with this product called Lyric, which is an extended wear hearing aid that you basically have placed inside of your ear canal for about two to three months at a time, only to be having it removed by a hearing care professional and replaced with another Lyric device for another period of, of two to three months. We are going to start offering Lyric inside of the clinic and we're actually in the process of going through like training to do this. Now, I have fit a bunch of Lyric in the past at my external placements, um, but it's something that you have to be like certified for. And, and I was never, I guess, properly certified for this in the past, or they just decided to recertify to be able to fit Lyric inside of our clinic. Um, over the past you know, couple of years, Phonak, who's the company who happens to own the Lyric product, they've actually been taking Lyric out of clinics because a lot of clinics they had it and they could offer it but they just weren't fitting a whole lot of it so uh, Phonak really wanted to focus on you know key locations to make sure that those locations were really solid at fitting Lyric because in order to be good at Lyric you have to do a lot of Lyric uh, hearing aids and so I actually had been inquiring over the past couple of years as to whether or not my clinic could start offering Lyric and it was one of those things where like they were really like downsizing the whole lyric thing and these clinics that were not fitting a whole lot of them they were actually closing down those locations to lyric i mean they weren't just closing down the office locations they were pulling lyric from those locations and so the amount of locations that you could actually find to get lyric had been on the decline and so i had been basically asking every single time my rep came into the office or that I talked to my rep, I'm like, hey, so what's going on with Lyric? Can we start offering Lyric? I mean, I think of my clinic as being a clinic that we have all the different innovative technologies there, and I wanted to have Lyric as an option. Well, uh, as we would have it over the course of the last month or so, we found out that we're actually going to be able to offer Lyric inside of the clinic. And it looks like by the end of June, we'll actually be able to fit Lyric and become uh, certified Lyric providers. Now, through the training, I do wanna capture some video and show you guys some of that video. Um, if you've been watching or following along on my Instagram channel, you already know this news and know that I've been actually starting and going through the training for Lyric. From what I can tell, it's kind of like riding a bike. I mean, I fit Lyric before. It should be, you know, just like jumping back in there. They have progressed through different generations of Lyric over time, but in general, it's basically the same product. Now, the reason the product is so cool and just kind of unique is that it is one of these extended wear devices. So if you're someone who has poor finger dexterity or they're a patient who has dementia and can never remember to put their hearing aids on, right? Or if you're someone who happens to not like the aesthetic of a hearing aid and you just want something completely invisible to go inside of your ear, then Lyric is a really a perfect option. On the, on the side of that too is that they are digitally programmable analog hearing aids. And there are a lot of individuals out there who prefer the sound quality of analog versus a digital hearing aid. And because you have this thing so deeply inside of your ear canal, you don't need to apply a whole lot of amplification in order to create a lot of intensity of sound. So you can use these devices to fit a wide range of hearing losses too. It's not restricting you to only you know, mild to moderate hearing losses. And it's just really cool because you get 24 seven hearing. When you go to bed at night, you still hear. And when you think about it, someone who has quote unquote normal hearing, when they go to bed, they hear. They hear all of these different sounds, whether it's you know thunder and lightning outside or what have you. And for someone to wear a Lyric hearing aid, you basically go to sleep in it, you shower in it, you do everything that you would normally do. You just can't go skydiving regularly. You can't go scuba diving regularly. You can't uh, do submersible like head in water swimming. You can do water aerobics, things like that. But in general, it's, um, it's a pretty cool way to treat your hearing loss versus a traditional hearing aid that you have to you know, put in and take out every single day. 
And there are a couple other benefits to this particular product as well, and it's that the whole tinnitus side of things. So there's a lot of individuals who go to bed at night and they have this perception of tinnitus in their ears because they have to take their hearing aids out. And hearing aids are actually a really, really effective tool for managing tinnitus. And when you have to take your hearing aids out at night when you go to bed, all of a sudden this tinnitus comes back in and there's nothing that you can do about it except for maybe like turn on a fan or wear some, use some kind of other masking device in that situation. But it, for a lot of people, it's much more effective to just have treated hearing when you go to bed and Lyric is so cool it could, because they allow you to do that. Now there are a couple of potential drawbacks of Lyric. Um, you've got this aspect that if you create a lot of earwax in your ears, that is a contraindication. I mean, you can't just produce uh, copious amounts of earwax and then expect this device not to uh, have issues inside of your ear canal. Of course, all those things that I mentioned before about you know scuba diving and stuff like that, or if, if you get MRIs like extremely frequently for whatever reason, uh, you have to be able to pull the device out on your own, but then you have to go back into your professional and get the device reinserted inside of your ear canal. Um, you can't have any like ear canal perforations or any you know uh, conductive issues with your hearing loss. So there's a lot of things that potentially could remove you from a candidate of Lyric. But the vast majority of individuals would likely be a candidate for Lyric devices. And I'm just excited to be able to offer this particular product inside of my clinic. And it is something that requires a lot of you know expertise on the professional who's fitting it to you. Verification of it is a little bit more complicated because real ear verification is not really something that you can use on these devices since the Lyric hearing aid, the tip of it sits about four millimeters away from your eardrum. Now you don't feel it when you have it inside of your ears. It's placed, it's really soft spongy material. You don't feel it in your ear canal. To be able to get a probe tip in that little four millimeter gap would be extremely, extremely difficult. But that being said, the Lyric device is, is really a solid product that's been around for quite some time. I'm excited to fit it. I'm excited to start sharing more information about what this particular hearing aid can do. So even if you don't live anywhere close to me, but it's a, a type of product that would help you or a family member or you know an aging you know parent or grandparent that doesn't have the, the ability to take care of their own devices or you know, manually put them inside of their own ears. Lyric is a really great option for that. The other interesting thing about Lyric is that it's based off of a subscription model. So every year there is a subscription that you have to renew because you have to go in regularly to get you know, hearing care, to get it swapped out by your hearing care professional. And basically every time that a device goes dead, that device goes in the trash and you have to get a new device inserted inside of your ear canals. But you can year after year after year renew this subscription. Um, the price will, will vary based on location. Uh, I still don't know exactly what our price is going to be yet inside of our clinic, but I'm sure that it will be something that is lower than the cost of traditional hearing aids but the only other side of that is is that you have to repay that subscription each year so even though it's a lower price you have to pay it year after year so at some point with Lyric there's the potential that you would be spending more money for Lyric than you would with traditional hearing aids unless you're the type of person who likes to get a new hearing aid every uh, you know two to three years then you would potentially spend more with a traditional hearing aid but like I mentioned before I am going to be recording some more content around that, around the training. I have this really cool Carl ear canal simulation from Ahead Simulations, which I'll be able to show you the actual placement from inside of an ear canal, a dummy ear canal, but inside of an ear canal to kind of show you where it goes, how it's placed and all of that. So you guys can become a lot more familiar with it before you even consider going to get Lyric as a treatment for yourself. I've also been chatting with the folks over at EarLens. There is also a possibility that our clinic may be able to fit EarLens in the future. And the thing is, is that EarLens actually requires that you have an ENT that you can work with because there's certain aspects of like taking impressions for and fitting the lens on an eardrum that needs to be done by a medical doctor like an ENT or otologist. But then the actual fitting of the ear lens device, the processor, is done by an audiologist. So as long as we can actually find an ENT to kind of like work alongside with 
uh, for ear lens. Ear lens might also be something that I start talking about a little bit more here in the future as well as we uh, basically embark on this mission to offer um, basically anything and everything that's like hearing device related, right? I don't know if we're going to get into the uh, cochlear implant game anytime soon. Uh, we're already, you know, starting to onboard a couple of different technologies now, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but that is really it for this week's video, guys. I just wanted to kind of bring you up to date with what's going on inside of our clinic, new things that we're training on, new things that we're going to be offering in the clinic. And uh, as always, guys, I'll see you next week.